this morning's mass will be offered for uh, the memorial fund and rollies, and we will have a vote of mass in honor of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. <clears throat> so let us begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. And with your spirit. Coming together as God's family, with confidence, <laughs> let us ask the Father's forgiveness, for he is full of gentleness and compassion. Lord Jesus, you bring us hope for better days to come. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You help us to bear all of our trials and crosses. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You bring pardon and peace to the sinner. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Clothe us, Lord God, with the virtues of the Sacred Heart and set us aflame with his love, that conformed to his image, we may merit a share in eternal redemption. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> Reading from the book of Genesis. The span of Sarah's life was 127 years. She died in Kiar Arba, that is, Hebron, in the land of Canaan. And Abraham performed the customary morning rites for her. Then he left the sight of his dead one and addressed the Hittites. Although I am a resident alien among you, tell me from your holdings a piece of property or burial ground that I may bury my dead wife. After the transaction, Abraham buried his wife Sarah in the cave of the field in Machpelah, facing Mamre, that is Hebron, in the land of Canaan. Abraham had now reached the ripe old age, and the Lord had blessed him in every way. Abraham said his, to his senior servant of his household, who had charge of all his possessions, Put your hand under my thigh, and I will make you swear by the Lord, the God of heaven and the God of, of earth, that you will not procure a wife for my son from the daughters of the Canaanites, among whom I live, but that you will go to my own land and to my kindred to get a wife for my son Isaac. The servant asked him, What if the woman is unwilling to follow me to this land? Should I then take your son back to the land from which you migrated? Never take my son back there for any reason, Abraham told him. The Lord, the God of heaven, who took me from my father's house in the land of my kin, and who confirmed my oath, the promise he then made to me. I will give this land to your descendants. He will send his message before you, and you will obtain a wife for my son there. If the son is willing to follow you, if the woman is unwilling to follow you, you will be released from my oath, but never take my son back there. A long time later, Isaac went back, went to live in the region of Negev. One day toward evening, he went out in the field and as he looked around, he noticed the camels were approaching. Rebecca, too, was looking about, and when she saw him, she alighted from her candle and asked from her camel and asked the servant, Who's the man out there walking through the fields toward dust? That is my master, replied the servant. Then she covered herself with her veil. The servant recounted to Isaac all the things she had done. Then Isaac took Rebecca into his tent. He married her and thus she became his wife. In his love for her, Isaac found solace after the death of his mother, Sarah. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. Who can tell the mighty deeds of the Lord or proclaim all his praises? Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. Blessed are they who deserve what is right, who do always what is just. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. Visit me with your saving help, 
that I may see the prosperity of your chosen ones. Rejoice in the joy of your people and the glory of your inheritance. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good. collectors and sinners came and sat with Jesus and his disciples. The Pharisees saw this and said to his disciples, Why does your teacher eat with tax collectors and sinners? He heard this and said, Those who are well do not need a physician, but the sick do. Go and learn the meaning of the words. I desire mercy, not sacrifice. I did not come to call the righteous, but rather sinners. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <coughs> Many years ago, I read a child's book. Short story, but was packed with meaning. I can't tell you exactly what it said, but I, I have a good recollection of what the message was. So there was this big old tree, very, very tall, many, many branches, a very healthy tree. It was in the yard of a family that had a little boy. The little boy asked one day if they would attach a swing to the branch of the tree so he could play. And, of course, being a little boy, using his imagination, he said to the tree, you don't mind if I swing back and forth? And the tree, of course, said, sure, why not? You're welcome to it. Well, the boy grew and he said to the tree, you know, I always dreamt that I would have a boat so I could go to the lake and swim and go out on the boat, maybe even fish. And the tree said, sure, take my branches. And so they did take all the branches, but they took most of them and built a boat for the little boy. And the little boy was very happy. And so he spent less and less time in the yard with the tree. But the time came, he was older. Now he said, I like a house, a low house. You don't mind if we take your wood, your timber, and build this low house? And they had to, to cut down the tree. It was only a stump. But the little boy got his house, and he lived in it. Whether he was happy or not, doesn't matter. But what was left of the tree, the giving tree, that was the name of the book. Nothing but a stump. The little boy went out in the yard. There was no tree to shade him, no tree to give him a chance to sit on a swing, 
no tree. For him it was useless. By this time, the little boy was growing old. He was able to go out into the yard and sit on the stump. And that was it. Never said thank you. Just used the tree for what he could get. And he got it. So again, no thank you, no sign of love, no appreciation. So the moral of the story is rather clear. There are people who are givers and people who are receivers. We all want to receive in one way or another. Above all, we appreciate it when people do say thank you. We are <coughs> overwhelmed when people say we love us. That's all very, very wonderful. I like to hear, I'm sorry. Do we expect anything in return? If we could just get those spiritual things, we'd great, greatly appreciate it and fulfill it. But we find in life that there are many people who use us, take what we have to give only to better themselves, and when our time comes, we're nothing, there's nothing left. So, if we listen to our Lord when he says, uh, love God above all else, love your neighbor as yourself, and that's love without any strings attached. So the giving tree didn't attach any conditions to his giving. But the little boy didn't prove himself to be a friend in any way, shape, or form. Because when the tree was no longer useful, he walked away and forgot it. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. <coughs> now if you'll stand, please, we'll have our general intercessions. Together, let us offer our petitions to God our Father, who loves us unconditionally, that the Church may flourish in the light of God's love and mercy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That peace and kindness may be established through the power of the Holy Spirit in every part of the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those suffering as a result of natural or man-made disasters may be consoled and relieved of any burden through the Holy Spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. But all of us here may have the grace of knowing we are eternally loved by God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the souls of the faithfully parted, especially those enrolled in the parish uh, giving, may obtain eternal happiness, including all of our loved ones and parishioners. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our own special intentions, which we mentioned in silence. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Father in heaven, hear these prayers and answer them according to your holy will. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. <coughs> Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Fifth of your goodness, we have received the bread we offer you fruit of the earth, the work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, we will come to share the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, who through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, 
And may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, Lord, from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my <coughs> sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. O God, Father of mercies, who, because of the great love with which you loved us with untold goodness, gave us your only begotten Son, Grant, we pray, that being perfectly united with him, we may offer you worthy homage through Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For raised up high on the cross, he gave himself for us with a wonderful love. He poured out blood and water from his pure side, the wellspring of the church's sacraments, so that, won over to the sacred heart of Jesus, all might draw water joyfully from the springs of salvation. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you. As without end we acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy day for these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim the death of the Lord until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Only we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Alfred, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember the enrollees and all of our deceased loved ones and parishioners, of all who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Ursula, uh, excuse me, Saint Elizabeth of Hungary, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. We may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. 
through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, that the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor, is yours forever and ever. Amen. <coughs> At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. <clears throat> Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I give you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. May this mangling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us who receive it. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Glory and honor be to you, the Lord, my soul shall be.
made partakers in your sacrament of charity, we humbly implore your mercy, Lord, that we may be conformed to Christ on earth and merit to be co-heirs of his glory in heaven, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. 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 The Lord be with you. Amen. 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 God bless you, Father. the Father and the Son of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. May our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And to God, O Prince of the Heavenly Hosts, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan, and all the evil spirits, the proud God of the world, seeking ruin of souls. Amen. Have a good day. You too, Father.